All right, hello. I'm Johnny Jungle Guts. This is Butters. And we're here to talk about the new comics for the week of May the 7th, 2014. First comic book I want to talk about is The Wake by Scott Snyder and Sean Murphy. Ever since this comic switched to like sort of post-apocalyptic water world type of thing, uh, I haven't been as into it. You kind of know, okay, they're going to figure out a way to save the world. The next comic I want to talk about, uh, She-Hulk, number four, by Charles Soule and Javier Polito. Javier Polito is one of my favorite uh, draftsmen, and he does such a great job of drawing Jennifer's face. Like, she's just so distinct and, and pretty, but still, like, tough. The story was a little trifling, but it was fairly well delivered and so well drawn by Javier Polito. I think um, Charles Soule is doing way better writing on this book than he is on probably anything else he's working on. The next comic I want to talk about is Nailbiter. Nailbiter is a new comic from Image. Today is the first issue that just came out. It's highly anticipated. And it's basically about a town that spawned... 16 serial killers, uh, the main one being Nailbiter, who's a guy who ties up his victims so they grow their nails out, like he chews off their whole hands or something like that. This comic was a really good premise that's just rife for uh, a franchise, of course, uh, with all the different serial killers that we're working with now, but they touch on the media sensation around serial killers. The main character goes to a store where they sell, like, stuff, memorabilia for fans of famous serial killers. In a lot of stories like this, there's characters that are really angry and short-tempered, but that's always, like, supposed to be kind of cool. But in this, it's, like, not cool. It's, like, a little bit scary for the protagonist to be as, like, easily set off as he is. Up next, uh, the Future's End, the new crossover from the New 52. Um, I wasn't blown away. This comic is set five years into the future, but features Batman Beyond coming from way more into the future. It, like, doesn't... Like, why can't it just be in the future with Batman Beyond? Uh, the next comic I want to talk about is called Burn the Orphanage. It's a really standard sort of dystopia revolution type story. But it's good, it's cute, the drawings are real sincere. There's this really funny page where they like introduce all the characters with exclamation points, which I just thought was so sort of cute. Right now I'm thinking a lot about the band The Cranberries when I'm looking at this because they're not a very good band but they got a lot of heart. And that's what I like. Some heart in this comic. That's what I think. I think I also know somebody who knows somebody who writes this comic. So maybe that's why I'm being nice to it. It was like you know, post-apocalyptic stuff again, but, you know. You know, it's like, you know, it's like a good read. All right, so those are the comics of the week. Uh, the best comic I think I've read this week was Nailbiter because uh, they've got some cool serial killers going on here. I'm not going to lie, I'm interested.